This Memorial Day, the focus is on the people who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. But some veterans are focusing on how to improve the lives of those currently serving. WRTV Investigates Kara Kenny shows us the new law that will soon take effect, impacting thousands of military servicemen and women across the state. As the nation mourns the lives lost, veterans across central Indiana are looking for ways to support military men and women who are struggling financially. This group of veterans wants to pay it forward to military men and women serving behind them. They all testified in support of House Enrolled Act 1034. This brings Indiana into line of many other states. The new law signed by the governor eliminates state income tax for the 34,000 active duty military personnel, as well as members of our National Guard and Reserves. And our active duty men and women work for peanuts. And so if we can give them a couple of extra hundred dollars, even if that's just a year in their pocket for them and their families, it's important for us veterans because that's what we do. With the economy being so tight, every dollar counts. And it might help take some of the stress off their, you know, budget. Veterans have been fighting for this law for 14 years. This is bringing Hoosiers back home. One reason it took this long, records show Indiana's state tax revenue will take a $20 million hit per year. Veterans say the new law will bring in more federal dollars for things like education and roads by keeping more military personnel and their spouses in our state. They oftentimes switch states to avoid paying that income tax. And we estimate that over a 10 year period, we lose between 10 and 25,000 citizens to our state. Ron Martin is the chairman of the Military Veterans Coalition and says Indiana is now the 39th state to stop taxing military income. You know, it's nice to say thanks for your service, but doggone it, it's time to show you mean it. And this bill did that. The governor's office held a ceremonial signing on May 22nd. We noticed none of the advocates we talked to are in the picture, despite testifying for the bill. They say they never got an invite. The governor's office tells us invitations to outside guests for ceremonial signings are up to the bill author. We reached out to the author, Representative Randy Fry, and we're still waiting to hear back. But as advocates, it's not about the pictures at the end. It's about the effort. Service men and women don't have to do a thing to get the tax savings. It will happen automatically. You won't have to do anything except see your paycheck go up. The new law goes into effect July 1st. Care Kenny, WRTV. One more point here. The new law does not apply to veterans who are no longer active duty.